Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English vocabulary for grade 8. Here I am teaching Mrs. Naula. My dear students, today we will do synonyms and antonyms for unit number 15. You will find two exercises about synonyms and antonyms on page number 190 and 191 of your English vocabulary workshop book. First of all, page number 190. Here you have the exercise whose statement I am going to read out. Choose a word from unit 15 that is the same or most sim nearly the same in meaning as the boldface word or expression in the phrase. Number 1. Broadcast incomplete details of the tragedy. For the word incomplete, the synonym will be partial. Partial means half complete, half incomplete, neither here nor there. Broadcast incomplete details of the tragedy, that is a phrase that has been given to us in the book. In this phrase, you will find the word incomplete that is written in a bold font. For this bold font word, the synonym is partial. Number two, will undergo a ritual of initiation. For ritual, you will have the synonym rite, R-I-T-E. Rite means a religious ceremony or activity. Number three, was behaving in a highly bossy manner. Bossy manner, bossy is the word, the bold font word. For this word, the synonym will be authoritative. My dear students, question number three answer is authoritative. A U T H O R I T A T I V E. Authoritative. Number four would quibble over a penny. Quibble means to argue, to have a debate. Haggle is the synonym for quibble. H A G G L E. Number five. Asked a substitute to preside. Preside means to chair a meeting, to host a ceremony. And for this word, the synonym will be officiate. O F F I C I A T E. Number six was ailing with a headache. Ailing is an adjective here. For this adjective word, you will have the synonym indisposed. I N D I S P O S E D. Indisposed is the answer for number six. Indisposed meaning is slightly ill. Number seven, prove to be a clever ruler. A clever is the keyword in the phrase number seven. For this keyword, our synonym will be sagacious. S A G A C I O U S. Sagacious is a person who is very keen or smart in judgment or behavior. Number eight, was filled with joy and cheerfulness. Was filled with joy and cheerfulness. Cheerfulness is the key word and for this word, the synonym will be mirth. Mirth means extreme happiness or so much fun time. Mirth, M-I-R-T-H. That is the answer for number eight. Number nine, would shop at the local business. Shop at, this is a phrasal verb. Shop at will have the synonym Patronize. P A T R O N I Z E. Patronize is the answer for number nine. And the last one of this exercise had taken sides in the bitter dispute. Had taken sides in the bitter dispute. Dispute means a fight, a problem between two parties. Feud is the synonym for number 10. Now we will go to the antonyms. Antonym means the opposite words, the words which have contrasting meanings. Choose a word from this unit 15 that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the boldface word or expression in the phrase. Someone who is respectful. Respectful is an adjective. For this adjective word, the antonym will be authoritative. Please write the correct spelling for question number 1 on page 191. Authoritative. Authoritative is the antonym for respectful. A U T H O R I T A T I V E. Number two, would follow along during the religious services. Follow along means to abide by the rules, to follow the rules, to go along with other persons. So for this word, the antonym will be feud, F E U D. Number three, was foolish in the choices she made. For this adjective foolish, you will have the antonym sagacious, S-A-G-A-C-I-O-U-S. Number four, a situation that is one of the sadness. A situation that is one of sadness, for sadness, you will have the antonym mirth, M-I-R-T-H. 
Number five, submitted the entire report. Entire is the word keyword in the phrase number five. For this uh, entire, you will have the antonym partial, P A R T I E L. So far, we have done two exercises about synonyms and antonyms. If you get this question in the exams, definitely there will be some choices for you to complete the answers. I hope you would have written all the 15 words very clearly. Thank you very much for attending the class. Before I say bye bye, so you please note down your homework, learn all the vocabulary words with respect to their synonyms and antonyms. See you next time with a new lesson. Have a nice time.